there is something epic about the ocean. It is a place divers yearn to explore. Every time I get in the water, it's like my mind just stops. It's such a wonderful experience to be down there. Freedivers take the plunge relying on a single breath of air and their own strength to explore the depths. Spearfishing is a silent hunt, peaceful, lying on the ocean floor waiting for the right opportunity, gliding through the water emulating the sensations of weightlessness and flight. It can be euphoric, nothing else matters. Freediving it's just you and your body, every, every system in your body you're running. You know everything what's going on, all of your senses are up to you, you feel your, your heart rate uh, with scuba. You can't, you know, you're not in charge of your O-rings and your pressure gauges. It's not up to you and everything can go wrong in an instant. When you're underwater and you're free diving, it's just you, your fins, your mask, you know, your wetsuit if you're wearing it, it's like so primitive. Spearfishing adds another dynamic to free diving. A diver may become fixated on hunting, inducing a life-threatening loss of consciousness known as shallow water blackout. Divers have to manage their time wisely in high school I took a free diving course and I feel that was really important especially for shallow water blackout because they taught us all the safety things that we needed to know and I didn't think I'd actually have to use it until one day when uh, Edward and I were spearfishing and uh, he stayed down a little too long and came up and had a loss of motor control. In order to mitigate their risk divers follow a strict one up one down rule. The diver at the surface watches the diver below, paying attention for signs of shallow water blackout. I was down there for over two minutes chasing a mangrove snapper through spur and groove. And I came around a coral head and I stuck the shot right in his head. And when I was trying to dislodge the spear from the coral head, I stayed down there about an extra minute and I wasn't watching my watch. When I came up to the surface, I had a loss of motor control and my buddy Spencer grabbed me, my lifeless body floating on the surface of the water. Honestly, if we didn't take that course, I wouldn't have known what to do, and he might have drowned. Well, shallow water blackout is a very serious, very real thing, and, you know, very scary. Having a plan is crucial to a safe dive. The conditions must be right, the gear must be ready, and the boat must be prepped and well maintained. A safe and productive day on the water makes conserving this beautiful resource that much easier. Spearfishing is more conservative because you get to pick and choose which fish you want to eat other than say, people who use huge nets and just destroy entire populations of reefs. So I grew up diving at a pretty young age. I grew up in the Cayman Islands. Uh, I lived on, on the water. I was in the water a lot. So diving and, and being in the, in the ocean was a big part of my life. Um, as I got older and progressed and became more fluent in it and more uh, dedicated, more into diving, I started to more focus where I live on being closer to water and being able to, to dive on a, on a almost regular basis. What is spearfishing to me? Well, it's life. For some, diving is just a hobby, but for these divers, it truly is a way of life.